I'm a purist when it comes to fighting. I want to know what really works in the fight. I want the least amount of rules in my fight. It's one of the reasons why I've been watching Bare Knuckle a lot. Let's go first into the Bare Knuckle. I think it's a good segue into the Bare Knuckle. But I've been watching it the last few shows, and I kind of like it. I talked about this once before. The fact that they don't have gloves on, it it's different. It's different. When the punches land, it's different. The guy's have to be a better boxer a lot of times because if you throw too wild and loose bare knuckle you're gonna you're gonna hurt your hand you're gonna break your hand the impacts when you see these guys get hit it just it's just different it just looks different you can tell it feels different i mean i mean think about it you're you're talking about these two knuckles okay hitting hitting you all of that all that pound per square inch is 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 isolated to those two knuckles that small little spot getting hit on you when you're wearing the glove when you're wearing that mma glove four ounces it's small but still it, that surface area is much bigger it disperses the impact zone a lot more the boxing glove even more that's why the fights can go longer and you know those guys get get more brain scrambled i think in boxing but the bare knuckle guys man you get orbital fractures you get broken noses you get you get cuts to the bone cuts to the bone like you're seeing you know like blue bone blue blood and stuff it's just deep and man it's just different you see guys you see guys get hit and this is like oh it's not even like a concussed knockout it's like dude i just got hit in the face with a ball peen hammer <laughs> You know, I don't, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. You know, something's, something's wrong. Something's, something's not good. It's a different, it's a different thing. It's a different, um, it's a different type of fight. And I, I've been watching and I think it's good. I think it's good. I've been enjoying it. I'm going to, I'm going to share this too, because looking up for info to just talk about these things. And I'm just looking for basics. If you're going to Google and, and, and this is for any of these promoters, out there any of you guys catch this pay attention please as a as a lay person I, i'm a big dummy okay i go to the computer i'm like uh bare knuckle fight friday result like that's what i'm I, that's as extensive as is my knowledge or whatever to search i you shouldn't even need that much to get what you need for the most recent fight whatever uh ufc is the best at this absolutely best at this if you put in google and ufc the fight cards pop up right away. You just see who was on, who's on the next one. And then you go back one and you, you know, I've showed it to you before, but it's easy. It's super easy. Dumb people can find it easy. Not every promotion does this at all. Bare knuckle. They get, they get a, they get a high score on their internet presence. I guess their Google search presence. Is that, is that what uh, it would be called? I'm not sure, but I'll, I'll share this. Okay. Whatever, typed it in, and it came up. It came up this. I typed up, you know, whatever, the results, BKFC results, and, and boom. I get clear-cut pictures of winners and losers, right? The whole card up there. This is great. This is exactly what needs to happen, okay? This even this even looks nicer than uh, UFC's. If they had a... Uh, a click over if they could just click over to next fight next card and then click click back for previous one that would be an improvement but they're, they're doing pretty good i caught a lot of these fights and they were they're pretty good i can't remember uh you know the the heavyweights adams and clucker that was that was fun but that was one of those situations where it, it's just it's a different kind of knockout it's not the wobbly legged mma knockout or or you know Sometimes they go they go completely dark and or out out, but you know sometimes like Clucker got hit and it looked like his face broke <laughs> and he's just like nope I'm done wasn't happening anymore. The Mandel Lane fight this could have been a lot better for bare knuckles. These guys are going two minute rounds. You expect to see a lot more volume out of these guys. I think they were being very technical and very respectful of each other, but their pace was a five minute round pace, not a two minute round pace. It would have been way more exciting with the with the uh with the higher pace. 
Jackson, Janoski, this was fun. Jackson did really well. I enjoyed that. Yeah, I watched a number of these. I can't remember all the fights, so there weren't any crazy, crazy stickouts. There were some good knockouts, but overall, fun event. It was a fun event. I can't say I don't enjoy watching the bare knuckle fights. I, I gotta say, it's it's something that I, I enjoy. I, I like Chris Lytle on the mic. Uh, they don't sound like, they're not, they're not sucking everybody off that they want to win walking down the aisle and throughout the entire fight. It seems very centered and based a little with the, with the, with the, with the commentary. Like I, I, I turn it off on everything else. I cannot stand to listen to any of the, the announcers quite honestly from any of the organizations. It all sounds like fluff. It sounds like you could put a generic name in with the stuff that uh, they're saying. Um, the, uh, the old boxing game, there's a boxing game. I remember they just had these like, recorded things that they would just say over and over again and they would just cut in your nickname that you made up for your guy that's what it feels like it feels like that video game and they just have like this teleprompter of limited comments they can make and they just say the same things over and over again for different people feels empty feels empty mm -hmm.